Hi, um, my name is Anusha and I was born in Vijayawada. I'm an architect. I've traveled, I've lived in different places all around the country. So, so that got me interested with urban issues, what urban means for a country like India and, and my disciplinary training with architecture kind of meld, melded with that and then here I am at UFP. So I was working on a paper that uh, while I was at in architectural school and uh, during that time I found some work about off IHS and then I went, did some digging and then ended up finding about UFP. A uh, little bit, I, I think there was a gap in what I was studying and what I was practicing as an architect with respect to, I felt like there was only one perspective that I was bringing to understanding the urban, especially in India. And I was always, I always, architects always talk about how we're going to change the world with the architectural solutions. And that's just enough. <laughs> that's, I think I realized how that is not enough and there needs to be more perspectives. And I think one of my questions when I came to UFP was also, how do you change the way you look at cities from a perspective of, from the perspective of real estate and image towards a perspective of inclusivity and culture? I was, I expected that I will be d uncomfortable a lot with respect to what I'll be learning because a lot of these, a um, lo lot of the concepts that we were learning, a lot of the, the the kind of cohort that we have, it, it is very new to me. The interdisciplinary part of it is, again, the sense that I had in, when I was an architect is very different from that I have here right now. And I was expecting to feel, to be challenged in that sense. And yeah, to learn a lot, of course, to learn about different things from different people's perspectives, which has been, which has been met here. Yeah, because like I said, uh, interdisciplinary for me, at least in my own discipline, met, meant everything working towards design, at least here, that that little mold was broken and I was expecting to for that to be broken. So yeah, it was. I had a lot of fun. I, I really wished that we, we um, I really wish the initial parts where we had it online, we could have it offline. But so far I had a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. I've met some wonderful people both in faculty and in the fellows and just UFP in general, uh, I mean, IHS in general. So yeah, it has been great. Um, I think with respect to visual skills and presentation skills, I already had a very strong inclination towards certain things as I came in. But what I've learned here is how do you talk to people with respect to your own positionality, keeping that in mind, especially because we conducted a lot of interviews, we did a lot of qualitative research, and that has been very valuable to me so far. What I liked the most was the field aspect of it, where the, the fact that after learning a particular concept, we immediately, within a smaller time frame, we could apply that to the field. We could go on practica visits, especially practica, and that we developed like a collective voice, at least within our group, to look at a certain issue with uh, keeping in mind that we all come from different backgrounds. So that experience of the field was my favorite part. Yeah, I, I really like the fact that we had um, we had lectures and uh, master classes and a lot of classroom component, along with a lot of practical component. And then uh, that that was very interesting. But what I would have preferred was that if the initial online course was much shorter and the comments was more intensive, because I was really looking forward to that. Yeah, like I said, I really enjoyed Practica and I really enjoyed uh, 
putting together and analyzing five different, very, dif very different brains coming together to find one solution that we all kind of agreed on. So I really, really uh, enjoyed Practica and the feedback also that we got through it. Uh, so in my, um, in my uh, statement of intent before joining, the two things that I was really looking forward to was Practica and uh, projects, where I thought I could research and put that into the field uh, uh, and test it out, test those concepts out, test those hypotheses out on field. But what I was really surprised or what I really liked was that we did the uh, the other way. We learned from the field first. Uh, that was very that was a very interesting thing. I think. Um, one of the, um, I wouldn't say underrated, one of the things that we overlook is what a place can tell you. Because at least trying to learn theory or trying to learn large scale understanding of cities, we forget that at the end of the day, the impact falls on real people on in a very small scale, in, a, in very like compact worlds. So I think it is necessary to learn from a particular place and then let it teach you what it does and then work upwards. That's a, that's a very important component. Most importantly, I think it's very important right now for us to not be like, at least coming from a very in disciplinary background, it is very important to diversify with respect to skills, with respect to just how you look at one problem. Because our, uh, one uh, discipline or one way of looking at it will not solve it at all. Yeah, so at least p personally, what I have done is I have not uh, taken up internships that are very close to my disciplinary work so far. So I, I am looking uh, at these internships as trans as a transitionary um, phase to get into something that I've never done before with respect to working in social sciences, working on larger working in larger contexts. So so yeah, I where did I, I applied for places like Seva and Ajivika, and I'm choosing between them. We're working with the Rajasthan government on the Chief Minister's Economic Transformation Advisory Council. And what we're do doing is trying to understand how we can manage the informal economy there. Um, as part of the project, I'm working on two practices called the you know, called universal slum upgradation within Rajasthan. And what are the economic infrastructure that we can provide for informal economy within Rajasthan, especially and the project kind of details out what uh, informality means in urban Rajasthan and then works on from there. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. I've learned a lot. And my outlook towards what a practice could look like, especially in the sec in development sector for urban India, has really like Im improved. And I, I now have a clear idea of what a practice could look like. Because most of these events, we attended them online. Uh, the, uh, the Urban Arc event uh, was very interesting because I, I kind of on enrolled online for different panels. And yeah, it was very nice to see many uh, different people talk about very, um, very interesting topics, which, you, which I couldn't generally find out about. So. Yeah, I would, for the future applicants, I would say that please come with an open mind and please be okay with being challenged. And once you come out of the silos of disciplinary knowledge and understanding, it's a very interesting uh, way of looking at uh, questions of the urban. So be ready for that. <laughs>